Hello, 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 and welcome to your beauty -o. So if you saw my last video, you'll see I did a review of the Pegasus Pitch and the goals from Sputio World. Well, I bought them because I was going to build a table. I built the table. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to... I'm not going to show... I'm not going to show you how to build a Sputio table. I'm going to tell you how I built a Sputio table. People have asked me when I put pictures on Twitter, oh, you're going to do a how-to, you're going to do a how-to. This video might have been, the title may have been a little bit clickbaity. It's not so much how to build a table as how I built a table. My DIY skills are awful, but I'm quite impressed with what I uh, put together. I'm quite happy with it. So this is the video where I'm going to show you my table that I've built and how I built it. Maybe you could probably take away what I did and do it better. If you do, fantastic. But as always, before we go any further, please like, share, subscribe to the video. Come talk to me on Twitter. Come talk to me on Instagram. Drop something down below in the comments. Tell me what you think of my table. Tell me what you think I could have done better. Tell me pictures of yours as well. So, do you want to see it? Do you want to see the table I made? Ugh. So there it is. I don't know I will. Yeah, we'll put it there. You might be able to see it better. There's my table. There's the table I made. Well, wanna know how I did it? Well, let's see if I can perch this up so we can look at it properly and I'll tell you how I did it. There you are. Like that. Presented that quite nicely, didn't I? So, this is my table. It's a seven side pitch. I didn't have room for a full big table. This is something a little bit smaller, but Pegasus do, or as the world, do this Astro Turf. It's the smallest. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a smaller table. So, it all started with, first, before I did anything else, I went online. I bought the pitch, I bought the goals from Sputio World. You'll be able to go, there'll be a link to the previous video in the description so you can go and see my review of this. Personally, it's a beautiful pitch, but that's what I did first. First I went on, and then I went down to Wix to get some MDF. We went MDF on it, but guess what? Wix didn't have the MDF I wanted, so around the corner, went at home base. We picked up some 18 millimeter MDF. Nice big bald, the bald was massive. I got it cut, thankfully, they cut it for me in home base, but I still had to do a little bit of trimming on it. So we went 18 millimeter and then I went back to Wix. Afterwards I go to Wix, where did I go? No, I didn't, I went to B&Q. So afterwards I went to B&Q and I bought some skirting board, some MDF skirting board to go around the edge. So we brought it home. I've got still got some board left over, but I bought it home, put it on the bench. First things first, I had to cut the table down a little bit. It was just a little bit, the bits they cut for me was just a little bit too big. In fact, you'll see, if you look up here, yeah, a little bit of an edge from where I did it. So first we cut the table down, bang, got the table cut down to size. Then I had to go at the, get the skirting board down. So measured that out, cut them down to size. I then made a bit of a mistake. When I cut the MDF down, I went to put it on. I forgot to cut these bits off the edge off. Just so you can get your keeper in, you got little dips down there. But when I did it, I cut it down, I went to put them on, bang. Oh no, no for the goalkeepers. So I had to cut these bits out. So what I did, I got the sides on, I, put, I actually nailed them on, bit of no more nails, bit of nails. I just nailed them on. I'm sure it's probably better if you screw, but I'm rubbish at DIY. You'll see that in the little clips that are probably flowing as this goes along. I'm not very good at it. So, bit of sanding down around the top, sanding down around the edge, and then we got the MDF nailed on. Then with these bits, I cut them down, cut them down so they're all the same side, and I then did my own little edge around here. So I then did a little bit of edging, so I had a bit of a smoother edge to it. I then used one, put it on top of the other, cut round, put it on one, cut round, then made a bit of a belly ache because I did cut them in reverse, I was at the wrong end, so I had to do them again. Told ya, not very good at DIY, I get all excited. But finally I got them down to size and then they went on. Little bit of now, bang, 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 little bit of MDF, bang, in they went. So that was then the basics of the table. So then I had to prime it because apparently MDF is really porous and it soaks up loads of paint. So got some MDF primer, painted the whole thing with primer. I didn't actually do the middle too much. I just went for the main, for the outskirts, which will come to in a little bit later when I painted it. Probably caused me a little bit of a problem. So we, we primed it all up. We primed up the skirting again because, uh, well, we had primer on it, but it didn't look, too, didn't look too good. So two coats of primer I put on that. Two coats of primer. Let it dry. That didn't take too long. Day later, bang, it was dry. And then I went at it with paint. <laughs> I, bought, I bought a gloss wood paint. I'll be honest, now I look back at it, I don't know why I bought gloss. It seems right, I just picked it off the shelf. Yeah, I don't know why. So I bought the gloss paint and then painted it all up. And what I did, I'm a bit, a bit silly of me really, I painted, I thought because the pitch was gonna cover most of it, I just painted the edges. So it ran the edge, paint, ran the edge, paint, and just left the middle blank. And then, hmm, didn't really work. I looked at it and I thought it's gonna have a bit of a 
somewhat of a dip in it, so I let it dry. When I did the second coat, I then went and did the middle again. I think I did two coats of paint all the way around. So we got it all painted up all the way around, let it dry. It took days to dry. Luckily, I've got a van. So I left it in the van overnight, I couldn't have it in the house. Wife was going nuts, I'm gonna get paint everywhere. I did get paint everywhere anyway, but got away with that one. So we let it dry for a couple of days, and then finally, it was dry. So I had a nice, bright, red, blank table and it was all ready for the pitch to go on. So everyone was saying on a lot of the forums and some of the groups on Facebook, they use a spray, like a glue spray. I found this spray, it was kind of branded like Blue Tack. It was made by the same people. Bostitch made it, I think. It was absolutely fantastic. So what I did, I took it out, got the pitch, laid it down, sprayed the glue on top, laid it back down, laid it onto dry, and it dried really quick. Like really, really quick. It was fantastic. Obviously, really good stuff. You can see how well the pitch has held on there. This is where I got a little bit annoyed with the paint in the middle. Because when I did, didn't do a second layer in the middle sort of thing, there is the odd little ridge that you can sort of feel or see at an angle when the light shines on it. But generally, really happy with the way that sat. So then come a little problem, because what I noticed is the bottom underneath, because I painted down the bottom just to make sure that it had a bit, a bit of edge around it. Oh, that took even longer to dry. That probably took a week to dry. I had it under, I had some in on it. In fact, if you look at this pitch here, this is the pit I was using this pitch, I think, to have it on. See this one? Yeah, look, if you even look at that, it's bits of red on there where it was sitting on that for a couple of days and just weren't drying. But eventually, it dried. Then when it dried, I thought, right, I need to attach these goals. I didn't want the big goals to be putting on, be putting off. So the goals I bought from Sputer Weld, fantastic goals. Nice and simple. I've got some drawing pins. And yeah, they seem to be on there. All right, I'm quite a bit annoying that the greens are different colour to the actual base, but. If you look quick, it doesn't really notice, does it? Then, in essence, it was a playable table. I was really, really, really happy with it. I thought, well, you know what? It needs a bit of decoration. So I stuck on these Sabutio dugouts. Got out a couple of Sabutio dugouts. I thought, you know what? I'll stick them on the side, give it a bit of character. When I actually wanted to make it, I wanted to kind of make it out of non Sabutio Sabutio products, like the stuff that's made today. So that's why I use the Pegasus Astro. That's why I use the Pegasus Goals. But I was going to order some other generic dugouts, but I thought, nah, stuff it, go on. We'll go with them, we'll keep it as cheap as possible. We all know I'm a tight git. So we stuck them on, and then I thought, you know what I wanna do? I wanna personalize it a little bit. I wanna get it a little bit personalized. So you'll see around the edges, there's some stickers all going around. So it needed a name, it needed a name of what it was gonna be. I'm an absolute diehard Lost fan. The TV show Lost, absolutely love it. So I called it, from Lost, the Dharma Initiative, Recreational Studio Field. I ordered some sticky labels off eBay, printed them up myself. Then you've got Dharma Initiative filled. You've then got numbers from Lost. And then around the side, you'll notice some, some, some you'll probably see the advertising holding. So you've got some Subutio sticker, you've got an Adidas sticker. You'll notice a Degeneration X sticker. I was a massive wrestling fan when I was young and I thought a little bit of a throwback. We'll stick one of them on there as well. And then there's some little links to me uh, social media, so you've got at Subutio Collect on Instagram, you've got at Subutio Collect for Twitter, and then I thought, ah, let's make it a little bit more personal, so some photos of me and the wife there, make sure she likes it, some photos of my boy up there as well, some key dates in the relationship as well, day we got married, little boy's birthday, and then it was complete. And I'll tell you what, now I've got myself a completely Portable, it's a bit heavy because it's MDF, a completely portable Subutio table. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have come up with that, eh? One thing I actually forgot to say earlier is when I did this, oh, I've knocked some figures over with it, look. Oh well, these things happen. One thing I forgot to say earlier is when I did it, because I was using skirting board, there was little bits sort of sticking up at the top here. So I got the saw out, sawed them off, sanded them down. Biggest thing I can say, and I, <laughs> I'm not the greatest DIY person, but one thing people always said is before you paint sand, before you paint sand, and I did, I had a real good sand. The one thing I probably didn't do is sand after I'd painted, which in hindsight probably would have made it look a little better, but I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. What do you think? Do you think it's any good? Do you think it could have done better? The beauty of it is, it's not, yeah, it's not got legs, it's not a table all the time so I can play it whenever I want I can get it out put it on the dining table I can put it on the floor play it my little boy oh well at me so there you go I actually made my own Subutio table and that's how I did it 18 millimeter MDF some MDF skirting board 
primed it all up, let that dry, primed it again, painted it, let that dry for days. Then the pitch went on with some nice spray glue, fantastic. Then we nailed the goals in, sucked some stickers on it, got the dugouts on it, butter bing, butter boom. So there you go, that's how I built my Sabutio table. I'm just, there's, there's some people out there that do some amazing tables. One always springs to mind is Flicks for Kicks. They make amazing tables. If I come into a quite a bit of money one day, wow, I'd have a whole room with one of their tables. They're like snooker tables, they look great, eh? Nothing on these quality, but I am unbelievably happy with that for what I did. So now I can actually play. One thing I always say in a lot of my videos is I don't play enough. Well, now I can. So when I get new teams or I get a new accessory, I can test them out on this little flick, bang, away it goes. What's so? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Instagram. I'm very, very happy with it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So there you go. There's my table. That's how I built a Sabutio table. If you want to take it as how to build a Sabutio table, take it as that. You can use it to build a bigger table, I suppose. Just use the same technique. I'm sure if you know what you're doing, you can probably take the way I did it and do it a lot better, maybe make it a lot neater. But for me, well happy. That'll do me nicely. That'll really, really do me. So before I go and you all go off to copy me and make your own tables, as always, I said it at the beginning of the video, I'll say it at the end, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think of the table, whether it's bad, whether it's good, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Instagram. Tell me exactly what you think. So that's it now. I'm off for the evening. I'm going to go play some spewter on my table. I'll leave you all to it. See you very soon. As always, keep on flicking. <laughs>